Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Fedora 43 beta, which we are currently on. We're also going to empty this trash because, well, it's bad. We need to get rid of it. So where do we start? Well, let's start where anybody else would. Uh, GNOME 49 is now default, so if I went and did some fast fetch, you can see that GNOME 49 is finished and no longer in RC, which is great because yesterday it was in RC and that was a very, very major big problem. Why? Because it shouldn't have been. So it's great that it's out of RC. Uh, most of my extensions are functioning and working. Astro Monitor is currently causing a problem where if you move a window to another screen, it crashes, but I've pretty much solved this. So by turning it off. All right, now to begin RPM has reached version 6.0. Uh, it brings security focused stuff like enforcing signature checking by default, support for multiple package signatures, a more streamlined process for handling open PGP keys. Okay. Uh, what that means is if I actually open this, can I move you over here? I can, and I'm going to open up the Equibop uh, thing here, and we're going to just try to install it. You know, it's password and it failed to add sub keys. Now there is a way around this because if you hit install, it just basically repeats itself. Uh, and the way around it is to do this and to just drag and drop it in like that. And it will install without an issue. So it's not really enforcing much of anything if you're able to bypass it, but uh, it would be nice if that little bug was fixed. I'm not sure if it's a bug or a feature. I'm going to call it a bug, but yeah. So DNF RPM copy on write. This feature lever leverage it <coughs> leverages uh, ButterFS relinking to decrease disk I/O and speed up package installation by deferring uh, decompression costs. So faster installation of packages if you're on ButterFS. But if you're like me and you've ditched ButterFS and you've gone primarily with XFS, congratulations. You actually have a modern, you know, uh, file system that doesn't feel slow and need constant fixes and updates. Good on you. Last log to uh, migration. The system's last log functionality, including PAM last log module has been migrated to last log two, which per, which is provided by util Linux. I don't know what that means. I don't even know what last log does. Can we just like type last log man not found. Okay. We can not. All right. Let me go figure that out. We use last log every day. Yeah. So the purpose, uh, the last log command shows the last log time for each user on the Linux system. How it works, traditionally it reads the from a binary file at var log last log, which stores last login timestamp, terminal, TTY used, and remote host if applicable. So yeah. Oh god, we have a year 2038 problem? I thought we fixed this with the year 2000 problem being solved and planes not falling from the sky. Y'all remember that? If you don't, you're too young. Yeah. Uh, so the reason to use last log, basically it's Y2038 safe. Uh, it uses an SQLite 3 database. Highest grows only when the, with the actual user. Um, and that's Oh, it's got a flexible DP or database scheme, which is nice. Okay, there we go. Let's get rid of all that and go back to the change log. Uh, kernel TLS for GNU TLS cryptographic work for secure network has been moved into the Linux kernel uh, TLS stack that accelerates performance and reduces CPU overhead for encrypted communication. Performance. Gotcha. That sounds actually pretty good. Uh, reproducible build significant progress is made towards ensuring packages are reproducible and Fedora is expecting at least 99% of package builds with uh, will be bit for bit reproducible. Uh, you're really pushing it there guys. 
Uh, Python is updated to 3.14. Golang is now 1.5, 1.25. Uh, Apache Maven 4, so that's a thing. And DNF modular modularity removed. Anaconda support for DNF. Mod okay, so Anaconda is completely freaking gone, which is kind of good and kind of bad, but the new installer works well. Uh, Firewalled is now gone. And the rescue kernel is no longer generated on boot. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And the fact that GNOME 49 no longer has an X11 uh, login for Fedora. I also should introduce you to the new um, wallpaper, I think. Look at that. This is actually a really nice wallpaper. It's a lot better than the last one, which just looks like someone's toddler drew it, but uh, yeah, this was definitely made in Krita, you can tell because of the brushes and everything, but really, did you have to poorly do the edges of the rocket? Like, they just look like ice cream. It's not really that big of an update, but it's enough that it, I guess, it makes people happy, and, you know... Having happy people is a good thing. You know what I mean? It's a good thing. There we go. Back to normal. So, um, yeah. I'll do a separate video on GNOME 49, the final version, because that would be a lot better than just adding on to this. Um, I'm sorry that this was not really much of anything that I could show off. And... I think that's more of an underlying system problem than anything. But I'm glad that they've been improving a lot of stuff. Right? And that's good. But they're really, really asking for a lot. A bit for bit reprodu- Like, that's crazy. Now, stability-wise. I used it all last night. Which makes me officially an expert on it. I, uh, I was using it to game last night. A bunch of other stuff. And... It's a lot more stable than GNOME 42 ever was, right out of the box. And uh, whatever issues they seem to have had with 42 seems to be gone with 43, from what I can tell, which is great news. And I'm actually really, really happy about that because it makes Fedora a usable alternative again. And, um, oh, another cool part is my tablet works out of the box. If I could find the pen, I don't know. Oh, there you are. Yeah. So it just, uh, it works out of the box, which is nice. For some reason, that was totally off the edge. Why does it set display like that? What the hell is that? The resolution on my monitor is wrong. What? What are you doing? Stop applying stuff like that to my display. Yeah, that's one of the only real issues you're going to have, I guess. One second, I'll uh, resize to full area. And then, yeah, it's setting my display wrong. Which is not okay. It's supposed to be a 1080p display. Yeah, it's still off by a little bit, but it's whatever. I don't know why it's doing that, but it's really, really annoying and it needs to stop. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, everybody. I'm sorry that Fedora 43 turned out to be kind of like a minor step up. But in terms of security and stuff like that, encryption, things that normal users don't even remotely use or touch... I mean, it's good enough, and hopefully it provides something uh, that we don't notice yet in the long term. That's probably a little bit better. I should probably go test network speed. I'm going to go download a game. Don't forget to subscribe, to like the video, share the video, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.